Here we go, down the hole. Don't think I need to shut this gate. Wow. Ooh. Straight dip. In uh, knee deep water. We are here with, uh, with Chris. And you're right. And Steve from uh, UK Man Explores. And uh, we're in this lovely old 1800 sled mine that we're going to be recording today. Wow. Quite a bit of water coming through here. Nice. Wow. Wow, some nice fingers here. Was this done back from the miners' time, or was it as something well, no, that was done? Uh, it's old. Miners' technique. Yeah, it's a miners' technique, but it, this is actually a 70s sort of, yeah. you know, dig. Yeah. Wow, well, look at the arch uh, level here. Classic arch uh, level from this area. Very nice. There is a potential lethal trap in this place, I'll show you. Potential lethal trap, so is it somewhere where you can just fall down basically? <laughs> nice. That's nice. Uh, how the hell the stone work here? With some metal pins and some sort of some sort of rail as a base. Oh, some stone for there. Wow! Wow, this is nice. Okay. Now we're talking, this is nice, Steve. Eh? It's a nice one, this. Now, the obstacle is up there, so it's just going to be like this. I'll shoot the one to get there. Mm -hmm. This is particularly walking. I'm going to try to get the open. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be like That's nice. Uh, it's, uh, it's beautiful, refreshing after uh, after where we've been. This is beautiful, and refreshing. Into the mine, but after you've been in the mine, coming back out, this smells with silt, so it's not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, you could end yeah. up in it. <laughs> I do know a uh, person who has. Well, oh, that's actually fallen down there. Yeah, hurt that. On the way back, particularly, like yeah. you say. Did they survive? Yep, they were wearing a merchant suit, fortunately, and just hurt their hip. But it can happen. Let's uh, see if we can see in there. You've got a bright light, you're just underwater. Oh, yeah. Come on. Just too still. Yeah, it's already. There we go. Disturbed is it? Just a bit of silver. I'll see something anyway. I'll just have. It looks like a shaft. It's massive. Deep, isn't it? Yeah. 
Doesn't yeah. take much to disturb this no, cell, does it? Really doesn't. And it's flowing still, so. Yeah, it's flowing that way, is it? And fairly fast. Well. Yeah. Well, you see this after, on a stormy day, the amount of water coming in this place is ridiculous. It comes out of where? Yeah. Uh, straight out of the one that burns. Like of the level, so. basically. Yeah. And it so, used yeah. To, it used to flood quickly, but it went through the drain, so. Wow. Yep. Goes up quite a bit, doesn't it? The emergence on that seems to be a shaft there. Oh, we'll level up overhead of us, so it's kind of the stove, is it? Suppose the same stove that goes up. Yeah. Straight away, yeah. Uh, it's quite an impressive size mine, this. Oh my god. So we got a recent collapse here, which it doesn't look very <laughs> very good. <laughs> There'd be a way to bypass it over here. Oh well actually you're climbing over already. I can see yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It's the thing that a collapse like this can happen, you know, well, when you're down the mine, it doesn't bear thinking, does it? We bypass the collapse, we we'll carry on in the main drive. Some nice uh, arch level again. And some timbers. They use the support. The cross team on that. Oh. And the level goes on. I can see ahead quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of water coming up. Interesting. Wow. So it's good drinking water. Yeah. That's really clean to drink. So, we've got some more collapsed timbers here. Another collapse here, it seems to be a bit of an old old shoot that comes from the top has collapsed and in interesting how the stonework here was supported by a bit of a metal rail and pins metal rails and pins supported there 
don't want to go above this. Wow. Go, son. Collapse of there. Stop is collapse a bit. But you can see here the function of the the stone arch basically stopping anything overhead just running in the level. survey marks. I think this is quite a lot of water issuing through the actual stone arch and here the stone arch is bowing out from from the roof it seems to be almost collapsing Chains there. Yeah. Here's some uh, chains. Sit on the side by this cleaned uh, up Cleaned up probably in the seventies. Vein there. <laughs> yeah, I can see a mineral vein there. A lot of uh, green fluorite. Present. I think uh, they cleared. They clear a collapse here. It's some sort of thick, is it? Yeah, it's just come down. From back in the time, they yeah. probably cleared the passageway. It might have been fully collapsed at uh, at some point. And luckily for us, it's all clear now, thanks to the hard work of some of the old explorers that cleared this out. Yeah. What have we got there? Oh. Climb up to that. Thanks. We're gonna. Oh. Have you been up there? Yeah. You can't. You can only go on the first thing. Oh my god, the second set of ladders is yeah. proper gone. But above that platform, it stinks. So Why does it stink? I have no idea. What it's kind a, of stinky platform? I did last time anyway. What kind of smell is it? I can't it's see. Just rotten lung smell. Rotten smell. Yes. It could be the the rotting wood, is it? Could smell faintly rotting stuff, rotting wood. But like it's rotting wood smells. Also changes by the day. Nothing particular. But you can't go any further up there, can you? No. Not safely. No. You can see. You can see the ladder at the top. Actually, that's it's proper yeah. gone. It's properly rotted through. Second ladder. Yeah. Let's take a, let's take a look. Basically, that's what we're looking at. A rotten ladder and like a rotten wooden platform at the top as well. So, not really good. Anyway, carry on. But yeah, you can see why this place just collapses, I mean. A lot of this stuff that's come down over the time. 
and more to come in the future more to come down well it's uh it's a really nice mine this some more survey marks here you can see Where is it running? Do you, do you think it's somehow it's a clay some nat no really some natural sort of we're in limestone and it just dissolves, doesn't it? We're in limestone, yeah. It would make sense so the other cave systems. Go around the corner you can see down. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Uh, we are we are in limestone, as they say. So there is limestone in dissolution here, and it goes there. That is crazy, actually, to think that this mine is intersecting a natural cave. It doesn't look something inviting that would be easily explored. Wow. There's a lot that's come down over here. Some collapses. So we get in an area that's very beautiful, very beautifully calcified. A lot of white calcite coming through there. Oh, what have we got there? Another Another ladder way? I'll tell you what, Steve, I'm glad uh, you saved the best for the last because we were losing hope in uh, mine exploration <laughs> after the shit over you took us. It's a matter of perspective. Oh wow, no, that is cool, right? This, this, this was a man way and an orchard. Yeah, I think it was both, level, was it? Is, uh, it goes up to the high level, but it's... Uh, is that accessible or has it ever been accessed? No, it's a trouble to ship in the <laughs> Wow. That is crazy. Wow. It goes, keeps going on and on and on. Yeah? Oh, this is the yellow survey markers that mine explorers did. That is a, a seam of fluoride, that is. A big, thick seam of fluoride. We've got some rails going up there. That seems collapsed. We're just going to follow Steve. It's the best way. I can tell you, I can tell Chris you're asked enough fast enough to keep, uh, keep an eye on the shinies. Hang on, is this, is this why wash though? Fungus that grows. Do you think is this was fungus. this wire washed for a purpose or is it no, just it's fungus? It, this is for mold, fungus. This is mold, is it? I was yeah. gonna say there wouldn't be any reason to why wash this. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, so this white stuff is it's not been white washed, it's some sort of fungus. Yeah, we've got this junction and one of the guys we've got a junction. took a uh, step. Let's have a look at the end. And if you notice, just there, oh, yeah. there's a hole in the floor. False floor. His foot went through here. Oh, oh no. no. So yeah. this is a false floor? Yeah. Huh. So his foot went through there and got stuck a bit. Well, just 
pulled it away yet. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. That's one of the things you can see over there. There's a hole in the floor. Right. I'm not quite sure what the water's doing yeah. there, whether it's issuing out of that hole or going down. What's that? It seems it's to be rippling. Us. I think it's coming it's, out. It's coming out. Of, yeah, I can see like a flow. ripple around the hole, so the oh. water is coming out. Yeah, the water being pushed out the hole back. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to step in the middle, probably. The but yeah, that is a false flow, basically. Yeah. Running there. Yeah. Good luck, Tony. Yeah. Tell you what, I can't get enough of this uh, stone arch levels, they are lovely. It's raining. Oh, that goes up to a shaft. Hey, there's a shaft up there. Yeah? Have you had a look? There's definitely a shaft there. So. Oh wow. Some lovely water here. Another offshoot. Very deteriorated, decomposed the wood. Wow. Yeah. Oh, good Look at this level. All fully stone arched. So we go back to this level that we went past. And we're going to take a look here. Yeah, it's another nasty collapse. Oh, some nasty collapses, yeah. Mm. Right. In the water we go. Getting emotional trauma, getting flashbacks of the other shit for man. I can see why. Wow. This is uh, a bit of a name. You see, this one makes it worthwhile when you find this beautiful calcified or all shoots and these stone arch levels with these nice colors. Getting a cramp, fucking bastard. Cramp. Ugh, full of hard work. And uh, we are making our way out now. So this is it for this. Uh, very special man explore and uh, tomorrow we got a few more exciting exciting explores around the area so stay tuned stay tuned for future films coming up I'll be posting them as uh, premiere every Friday night 6 p.m. and Sunday night 6 p.m. So at least twice a week 
Uh, depending on the amount, obviously, of recordings that I have and videos that I produce. But that's the idea. Making it a regular twice a weekend video. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And, uh, And my friend Steve here, he'll be posting the video of this place when you at some point as well. So, well, cool. That's right. That was nice. Change from uh, the latest yes. one. Yes. <laughs> no disrespect. I probably wouldn't do it again. The other one. No. But it's to do it it's once. good to get yourself challenged against. You know. Definitely physical and mental challenge. Yeah, the feel, the physical element of the challenge of the. Uh, the last explore was pretty good. We've been there and done it. That's it. I've that last time, actually.